Alright, welcome to level 10 of my brilliant low experience walkthroughs of Girl's Treasure. Um, for this level we have the same skills as for level 9. This level is a lot easier than level 9, so we could probably do it with uh, less skills uh, as well. But, well, you cannot undo skills, so we've got these skills in level 9, so we've got these skills now. So the reason why this level is pretty easy is because there's no ninja or assassin bosses. Um, well, that's that's part of the reason. There are some tricky waves with uh, ninjas and assassins later on, but uh, now that we've got access to cheap fireballs, which do uh, 300 damage to to everyone, uh, this level is kind of trivial. I didn't get the first try, not that, but still. It's uh, pretty easy to pull off, so uh, I started by putting a crypt on the high ground uh, and another crypt on the mana pool. There's only two mana pools, so you cannot uh, spend mana uh, at will. So, um, so you have to uh, go pretty slow uh, on the mana usage. Fortunately, you don't need that much mana. Um, so the defenses are all gonna be uh, where you see him now on those two lines and I will only chop out one more forest be below the left on most crypt there will also be a crypt and for the rest it's all gonna be on those two lines um, there is some randomness in uh, whether enemies enter uh, on the top row or the bottom row it's better if they enter on the top row because uh, uh, the towers from two sides will damage them instead of only the towers from below. But then again, uh, if it's split, it gives you time to deal with the top, the enemies which enter at the top row first, and then the enemies at the bottom row. So here's the first boss coming, and also the first upgrades. I upgraded uh, some guys into chilling crypts. It's a priest which heals himself, so you need to do. Um, a substantial amount of damage because else you will just heal all damage you do to them immediately. So, um, if in doubt, throw a fireball. You can see uh, he regenerates health uh, at quite a decent pace. Uh, so the main the main damage is done by the chilling grips below, and the rest is still not upgraded enough to do to do uh, a lot of damage. Now you can see the reason for the fire tower in the front. Um, uh, I don't. I will not upgrade that tower during the entire game. It's just there to turn ninjas invisible. Um, on the high ground on the top row, I've chosen to put a, a fire temple as well, and he's going to be upgraded into a burning temple, uh, which explodes. Uh, reason being, um, when you have huge waves of ninjas and stuff. Um, the ones who get visible at the front, uh, the temple will react on those guys and explode and also damage guys in the back. And similarly, if ninjas are followed by slow guys, the temple will uh, explode while ninjas are still invisible and the ninjas also will get damaged. So for the same reason I'm putting a ballista down over there, um, just to do some area of effect attack. Uh, the two other um, dance I will upgrade to Orcish Dance um, and that's for the reason uh, if any stragglers uh, come on through uh, they can be uh, killed off with quick hits from my Orcish Dance in the back um, for the rest this level is pretty trivial except for some assassin waves also these ninjas uh, are not a problem and if you run into problems you can just uh, throw a fireball. So it's quite a fun level to play because of uh, uh, a lot of ground for uh, burning temples. I've placed another uh, temple uh, behind my uh, temple in the 180 corner. Um, I'm going to make a radiance temple out of that. If I if the temple makes it that far, I'm not sure about that though. But for the rest. Now we're getting into the level 2 waves, only a couple guys again, so really easy, you can just uh, scroll to them at will. The level 2 ninjas are somewhat trickier because they have 200 hit points, so they don't die with a single shot at the end, they have to 
you have to actually do a little bit of damage to them. And they are faster, so they will get further while invisible, so it can be a little bit tricky. So level 20 is uh, a knight champion, he blocks uh, 15 of 18 damage of each hit, so again, heavy hitters uh, will do the job. He is not immune to um, to uh, temple effects, uh, or to tower effects like fear, so if you will get scared that's a good thing. And I get kind of lucky, and I don't need to use a spell, but if you do you need to use a spell, a fireball to finish him off would probably be better than a frenzy in that case. 7 level 2 ninjas, uh, you will want to reserve a fireball for those guys. Um, but also hopefully we might get to see the exploding temple in action, yeah, damaging the other invisible guys. So that's quite nice, if you don't pull it off you will need some uh, fireball support in the back to kill off the ninjas. So now just cruising along, slowly and steady, uh, slowly upgrading the rest of my guys into their special effects temples. So now I've got four chilling trips, I got two orcish dance and a catapult, and I got some exploding temples. And radiance temple is not going to make it uh, until that level, so that guy doesn't do too much. I find it better to uh, build less temples and upgrade them better, uh, uh, as opposed to building more temples, like adding another two fire temples in the front is quite fun, and you see I had to use a fireball over there, because level 2 ninjas can be tricky. Um, but it's quite fun to uh, chop out the entire uh, uh, row which divides the top and the bottom entrance and just place fire temple temples all over that. But that's uh, not, the, not the most efficient way to deal with the level if you can do it at all at this experience level uh, with the skill points we have. So again, also those level 2 mages, they have 400 hit points each uh, with replenishing shields, so uh, that can be a little bit tricky as well. Um, luckily you can rely on the, the fear effect a little bit. Uh, this wave is really tricky. Again, Assassins and Priest is one of the worst combos. If the Priest starts healing the Assassins, that's really bad. Because Assassins dodge damage um, and if then get healed uh, a lot more than uh, other guys. So a Frenzy, if you deal with uh, lots of Assassins, a Frenzy spell is uh, um, a pretty safe strategy. It will enable your fear-inducing crypts to uh, to fire a lot faster, and uh, every time they hit, uh, they will have a chance to inflict fear on assassins, so they usually will become kind of stuck, unable to progress much further. So, the next to last wave consists of 14 ninjas, um, so stand by with your uh, fireball. This wave is just like more cannon fodder. Sometimes bots can be tricky, but that really depends on uh, if if they are sped up the entire time by the by their own blown on the loot of haste and other bots loot of haste. Then can be tricky, but in this case not so much. So let's see if we need to throw a fireball at the uh, ninjas or if they die by themselves. The ninjas coming from down below become visible uh, earlier and that helps a lot in uh, getting those exploding temples to explode. Alright now the final guy. Uh, again I'm probably not even going to need a spell. I got two three star crypts in the bottom and especially if he comes on the top row then it's really easy. But with so much fear effect it's just... this level is just trivial compared to the other levels like, like level 6, 7 and level 9 they were pretty brutal but this is a nice breather again so you can see 21 skill points invested and uh, that's it for this level so yeah pretty easy and uh, I'm curious if we can finish the series in a single playthrough without any experience grinding so 
let's see if we can make that happen. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe and be updated when the new one comes out. And I will probably do the level pack after this series. So see you then.